How's it going guys? Welcome to the video Ghost of 8 here and this is my Black Ops 6 first impressions video. I have been playing Black Ops 6 multiplayer and I wanted to get this video out to let you know what's going on, give you my feedback as a fellow Call of Duty Elite game and stud muffin athlete. I figured my opinion might hold some weight as I've been playing this franchise for 20 years, made hundreds and hundreds of videos across many platforms, many channels. So this video is really my first impressions without hyperbole without any rage and just giving you the actual facts jack you know what i'm saying i'm packing the steel i'm keeping it real so black ops 6 first impressions i am not impressed with black ops 6 i'm not saying it's horrible or bad but if you played the beta i really don't see any difference at all between the beta and this actual finished product except one thing i think the lighting and the map seem better the actual graphics, they, I don't know, luminosity, the luminous has been turned up. So I feel like I can see better because in the beta, I couldn't see shit. But besides that, I feel as if the thing's exactly the same. And there are some really big problems that no one's going to talk about that I don't know people are maybe not noticing because they don't use these certain guns. But shotguns really, really show a massive problem with this game as far as the net code goes, as far as the fluidity goes, and just overall how the game feels. Um, but before I get into that and talk about actual real issue here with the net code, I'm finding that maybe, like I said, a lot of people don't use shotguns. I love them. So I'm really seeing a blaring, blaring weakness and problem with this game. But I will say this. People who are going to shit on Modern Warfare 3, but then come out here and white knight this game or Treyarch, do not believe anything they say because their takes are completely dog shit. Because Modern Warfare 3 and this game, the least thing you can say is that they're the same. It's Call of Duty. That's the least you can say if you don't want to be a fanboy of Modern Warfare 3 or if you're a hater of Modern Warfare 3. If you just want to be honest, you can't say that there's much difference. People are out here saying the game feels fresh, it feels new. It feels exactly the same as Modern Warfare 3, but in fact, less smooth, less fluid. I played X Define. We played X Define. I'm sure everybody here has played X Define. This feels even a little more clunkier and less intuitive than X Define. I'm not even joking on that. I don't find this Omni movement to be some kind of game changer and somehow make me feel like, oh wow, the game is so smooth. And I am playing on PC. I'm playing with the controller. I am playing with the best settings. I'm playing with a four to five thousand dollar PC that I bought with my own money. I'm out here playing on better specs than any PlayStation, so it's nothing to do with what I'm running with. My frames are over 100 plus frames per minute, but the game does not feel good to me. And anybody who says it does is full of shit or really is just in the honeymoon stage. And I don't have a honeymoon stage anymore after 20 years of playing Call of Duty. I can see through the nonsense right away. And I'll let you know, like with the shotgun itself, how there is a problem with the game. There seems, I've seen actually someone say this before. I was actually watching a Nate Shot stream and just by happenstance for the few seconds I was watching it. He said the same thing and the guy who was playing with said the same thing. Something feels off. There seems to be a delay input. With the shotgun, it's super noticeable. Like, I will pull the trigger, and they're, I mean, I'm not even moving. It's not like sprint to fire, and the time between that usually takes a little bit sometimes to get the bolt to actually fire from when you pull the trigger. But I'm talking like standing still, pulling the trigger, but I've used the shotgun, and it doesn't seem to fire. It seems like it doesn't even register. And when it does, it seems like there's literally a second lag between pulling the trigger and having it actually fire. Now, when I use SMGs and other weapons, you don't notice it as much, but when you're using a one-shot weapon like a shotgun, you can tell when your first bullet doesn't fire because you're dead instantly and the party's over and you can tell. But when you have a gun that fires, you know, 60, 80, 100 rounds per minute and you pull the trigger and there's a delay, you won't notice as much because the next one comes so quickly. But on slow fire rate weapons like a shotgun, you really can feel that input and that lag between pulling the trigger and having it actually fire. Also, people want to trash Model for a 3, and this is not me, you know, white knighting and standing up for Model for a 3. I'm just trying to compare and show you how people who are going to say the Black Ops 6 is so awesome then trash Marvel 3 are not credible actual sources or people you want to listen to. The maps, not good at all. There's like a couple maps that are okay, but most of the maps that I have played are not very awesome at all. There's not a lot of gun selections for shotguns. You got two shotguns, and I know this is just launched, and I'm sure they'll add more, but people don't realize how much content we got for Modern Warfare 3. And when you see the kind of content and the guns and just the overall perks, it is not very exciting. There's nothing new here. Like Black Ops 6 is a different year, a different development team, but same game, same sweats, 
The skill-based matchmaking is just as bad as it ever will be with Modern Warfare 3. So if you're tired of getting bunny hopped and slide canceled and omni movement into round corners and dudes jumping and using their scuff gaming controllers and trying their asses off, you're going to have that. And it is that. It's exactly the same thing here in Black Ops 6. Now, I'm not trying to be super negative here. I mean, it's not a horrible game, obviously. It's not like Modern Warfare 2. 2000 whatever that was 1920 whatever the hell the last one was i'm not talking the original model for two which was fucking awesome i'm talking the new iteration of Modern Warfare 2, which had nothing to do with Modern Warfare 2. It is not that bad but it's not good man i mean at this point my first impressions if i'm not trying to be all you know rage beat on you for clicks six and a half out of ten maybe there's also issues like the kill streaks are way too high. You need to get like 11 kills to get a Predator missile. Another problem though, if you look at the kill streaks, you can get only four or five kills, maybe even three if you run one of the perks that you know lowers your kill streak cost. That shoots down every single kill streak in the sky. Like that just exemplifies Call of Duty nowadays, where it's boring. A kill streak that takes out and null and voids all the ones that take 10, 12, 15 kills, but nonetheless, some guy who only can you know muster up three or four kills in a row can put down a turret and shoot down all your kill streaks because call of duty to me was always about the kill streaks in the past that's what i found call of duty to be another thing too which i find funny is that the only thing i can hear all these call of duty and church fanboys using and doing and saying for copium is that the challenges are so much better oh that's 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 how call of duty's gone to shit that's how bad you know it's gotten when doing challenges and having a prestige system is a selling feature for people instead of the actual game like forget about playing the game and enjoying the game itself no what's fun to these people mostly talk about people like new cinema new ci cinema is that he's all excited that there's progression because he can't bring himself to say the game fucking sucks he's not enjoying it the only fun he gets out of it is because he's got ocd and a lisp and his only thing he can say is that, oh, I got challenges. I'm sorry, I got challenges to do, guys. It's super awesome. You got challenges. The prestige is good. But the game, it sucks. You know, he's and like, I've heard people, it's a honeymoon stage. Like, I don't even have a honeymoon stage. Like, I played a couple hours. And I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real honest with you. This is how much fun it is. I mean, it's not horrible. Like, I'm not trying to be all, you know, ghost of eight downer here. Like, oh, the worst in the world. I'm cutting myself now. I hate life. I'm going to wear black eye makeup. No. What I'm saying, though, is that I gave you a 6 and a 5 out of 10. That's pretty much it. So this is my first impressions, keeping it real, packing the steel. I'm also going to have a lot more to say later on, but you take what you will from this video. If you want to buy it, don't want to buy it, maybe get it for free on Game Pass, but it's not that awesome. And all these dudes who are pumping it up, probably because they have an angle, like they're streamers and they want Call of Duty to be popular so that they can get people watching their streams and keep making money. Which is fine. I'm not hating, you know, it's a hustle. Not like, you know, it's not the end of the world. But you got to take uh, what you're hearing about this game uh, with a grain of sand, a grain of salt, because you got to listen to who's saying it, right? You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people got a lot of uh, a lot at stake to make these games good and popular. And uh, I think they're biased. You know, Activision Shields. All right. Thanks for watching. Ghost of Fate signing out. Stay Black Quest with Authority. Mold to Cracker. I'm not black. Reptilian Shape Shares. Building Movies. Hard Spring. Kim Shields. Seven Levels. There's a job to Some of the Black Movies. Fake Owls will hit for the Fox game. White Man. Bring it down.